do you work with multiple AWS accounts where you have some of your application in one account and another part in a second account, but find it frustrating trying to connect all of the parts across these two separate accounts. In this video, we're gonna learn how we can solve that issue. Hi guys, my name is Sam with Complete Coding, and in this video, we're going to learn how we can use serverless to set up an assume role so that our lambdas or API gateway or even users on one account can access resources through a role on another account. This is great for if you've got a core set of functionality you have in one account, and then you might have one or even multiple other AWS accounts where you have client specific logic. You can use these assume roles to connect the two parts without having to do anything manual inside the IAM roles. To add a new assume role to our account, what we need to do is scroll down to our resources at the bottom of this file. Scroll all the way down to resources. As we can see, we have the demo bucket and the Dynamo DB table. So we're going to add a new resource at the same level as those. And we're going to call this my assume role. And this has a type of AWS colon colon I am colon colon role. And then it has some properties. These properties define the I am role. So first we need a role name. And I'm going to call this my assume role. And to go along with this role name, we need, actually need to define the policies on this assume role. To do that, it's assume role policy document. And in this, we need to first define the version, which is a string of 2012-10-17. We also need to set up the statement, which is telling AWS what this assume role policy document permissions are. So inside this statement, we allow using the effect colon allow. We also have the principle. So the principle is telling AWS who can use this I am role statement. In this example, we could create one that is usable by a Lambda or by API gateway. So that is what we're going to do now. We could also create one that is assumable by a user. If we did that, we wouldn't need to add this principle section in. But for now, we're going to be using it. So we have to define which services can use it. So service, and this is a list. So lambda.amazonaws.com and API gateway dot Amazon AWS dot com. Those are the two services that we're allowing to use this assume role policy. As well as that, we also need to define the action. So because we are assuming role, we are all we need to add is STS colon assume role. If we wanted, we could actually add onto this the resource at which we're assuming into. So this could be another user's account or another account of our own. But for now, we're just gonna leave it like this. So if we save this, go into our terminal and run SLS deploy, 
it will set up our new assume role. Now that has finished deploying, we can check if this has worked by heading over to our AWS console. Inside here, we can search for IAM, and then we can look for our role. So click on roles in the left hand side and scroll down. You'll see a lot of the AWS managed ones, but here we have my assume role. And if we click into it and click on trust relationships, we can see that it has the permission to be used by lambdas and API gateway. So that has obviously worked. So this means that we have succeeded and we can now use this to assume into other accounts from lambdas or from API gateway. In this video, we have learned how we can create a IAM role that allows either lambdas, API gateway, or even users to assume roles into other accounts. This is used when you have your architecture spread across multiple AWS accounts and saves loads of time getting those set up. If you've liked this video, please give it a like because it really helps YouTube algorithm tell other developers about this channel. And if you want to see more serverless videos, make sure to hit the subscribe button so that you get notified when I next release a video. Thank you very much and I'll see you again next time.